Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pure Psycho Geek here. As you may know, my name is soon going to be changing from Bexadex to Pure Psycho Geek on my YouTube to tag along with everything else I own and use social media wise. I'm also going to be getting a new intro, where hey! Anyway, today's video guys, should you be so lucky, you may appear in the video behind me. If you have played GTA with me at any time and I've taken screenshots or videos, you may just see yourself pop up behind. Anyway, further into the video, should GTA 5 be banned is what this is about today. And do video games really cause children to be violent? Come on. Th that answer just... You should be able to answer it yourself. Come on. Anyway, so without further ado, let's go. So recently, GTA 5 has been tried to be banned in Illinois. They're trying to stop people purchasing it because they believe that it's causing video, ga video games are causing people to be violent. However, do you think children are being violent because of video games? No. Basically, Chicago have had hijackings recently and they believe that the hijackings were caused due to people playing GTA. They've got the wrong idea and think it's okay to go stealing cars. Not sure what politician got that idea in his head, but... Anywho. I don't know. Carrying on. Recently, Rated Epics, the Twitch streamer you may have heard of, has been banned recently from Twitch for a couple of days due to something that happened while playing GTA 5. Some people are speculating it was because he was playing copyrighted music in the background. Others believe it's because he was in a vanilla unicorn strip club. GTA 5 has been around for a long time and has been on Twitch for quite a while. Do we really think that the strip club is the reason to blame? Many people go in the strip clubs, come out of the strip clubs during live streams, they stream it all the time. I believe just recently with the copyrighted music, it was the copyrighted music that was caught. And due to this, no pixels, the server that he was on has suddenly cut down on many things that they are doing during the video during their streams. They're not allowed to play certain songs, they're not allowed to go in the, in the strip club anymore. They're cutting down just to be on the safe side because obviously some of them don't want to get banned. Fair enough. Now, because of all this, are video games really, really, really the cause of violent kids being violent nowadays? Not really, no. So I decided I was going to go around and ask as many people as I could. I've asked family, I've asked friends, and I've asked co-workers. What do they think is the cause behind this? Is video games really the reason? that people are violent towards each other. 99% of those people I asked said no. Only 1% of that amount of people I asked said yes. Their reason was that some specific video games can make you violent because they cause you aggression, such as FIFA. A lot of people tend to get angry at FIFA and they believe that because of this, they then turn to violence because they end up punching hands through the walls. But is it extreme like violence to the point of stealing a car? No, they're literally punching hands through their walls. Now, I mean, that's self-inflicted violence, but they're not hurting anybody else. If they want to get angry and punch your pillow, let them punch your pillow. It's what video games do to everybody, right? I mean, me for one. When I was younger, I learned that if I threw my controller across the room and break it again, I would have to pay for my own. Therefore, I stopped. I don't want to be paying for controllers left, right, and centre because I can't control my anger at a video game and just launch them at the TV all the time. So the amount of people that I asked, all my family members said no. It is down to the person playing the video game. If that person playing that video game has mental health problems or anything that could cause an issue already in their minds, then they should not be playing that kind of video game. If they can't handle the certain situations in the video games and they think it's okay to go and do something that they see in the games, then no, they shouldn't be playing the game. Other people have speculated that they know what's right and what's wrong. So one of my friends, he has a son called TJ. I'm going to call him TJ because I'm going to protect his identity in this video. I don't want you guys to know who it is or anything like that. His name is TJ. My friend let, allows him to play GTA 5, obviously while watching him, keeping an eye on him, everything that he does. But... He knows, well and truly knows, that should anything in the game occur, like drugs, shooting, running people over for fun, he knows 
if he was to do something like that in real, there would be repercussions. He knows exactly that. If he goes to school, he does not bully other children. He does not swear because it's not cool to swear. Just because you hear it in a video game, you don't do it. He knows that it's not okay to play with guns. If you ever see one, you don't play with it. You leave it alone. You don't touch it. He knows that running people over on the street is not okay. Now, anybody who plays a video game and believes that this is okay, but the reactions and things that you may see in video games that you believe is okay, it's not okay. Call of Duty. You play games like you shoot each other. Yes, that is what would happen in a war. But you are not in war. You are on the streets, walking down the streets every day. How could you believe something like that is okay? Now, one of my older friends that I spoke to on Discord, he said that when he was younger, growing up, it wasn't all about what people were playing. Um, it was never about video games. People were always complaining that, oh, violence is because of people in movies, people in TVs, people in cartoons. They think Tom and Jerry is the reason for violence. It's not. Nobody is, nothing is the reason for violence. Now, Will I Am in Black Eyed Peas, he even states in his song, people want to act what they see in cinemas. No, not, they don't, they don't want to act like what they see in the cinema. They don't want to be shooting people. They don't want to be violent. It's not due to the video or what they saw. It's not due to the games they played. It's not due to any of that. It's due to what is up with them mentally. If they could not control themselves and then they're not stable enough they shouldn't be allowed to play these games they should be watched monitored and people should know whether yes or no whether they are stable enough to play these kind of games now if i'm in a bad mood i'm very depressed i will go and play a game because for me it's my escape and for like many others it is their escape they use it for an escape but they know that they should not be doing this in real life they know that they shouldn't be running around on the streets popping people in the ass like you will see in the back of this video it's not okay to do that so to all the scientists that believe psychologically that video games cause aggression and violence hells yes they cause aggression do they cause violence sometimes but not to the extreme we're not slapping people upside the head shooting them running them over or jacking cars because of what we've seen in a video game we might go and punch a friend because he pissed us off in the game and we might actually go punch him if we see him but would we actually physically physically do any extreme damage i kick the shit out of them because of it no might just slap them upside the head just a gentle tap or whatever just playing but would we actually kill them over them beating us in a video game i don't think so so guys if you like this video and you agree with what i've said give it a thumbs up if you disagree with what i said give it a thumbs down that's absolutely fine because I want to know your opinions. Leave it in the comments what you believe. If you believe anything, if you want any more of these kind of videos, you agree with my comments, whatever, pop it in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. Peace is out. Geek is out. See you guys next time. Bye. Other people have speculated that their that um uh, it's not due to their